Right in the comments, Deadly Sloth 2151. Hey, Daka, as promised, here are two more suggestions. They're not as good as Lovely, but maybe there's a few interesting ideas in there. First, we have Provo by Poche Dursay, and I'm pretty sure that's Posh Dursay, but it'll always be Poche Dursay. There's two sided dungeons at the entrance. Red is hard, blue is easy, and gives you a hidden skip around uh, the annoying first part if you want. Just be careful. Prestige 10, 48 raids, 254 kills. Ratio 5.3, that's pretty good. Uh, I was going to go in with swords, and I still am, but I'm going to get bodied, I'm pretty sure. Second is King George. That's the latest I made. Still prestige, early prestige, so it's by far too easy, but the design is pretty neat, I think. All right, I'm going to save that until it's prestige 10 for sure. Um, and then I'm going to come in here and try and cut this up. I like this a lot. Haven't seen it. I know it seems like kind of a simple thing, but that looks cool. An evil sun. I feel like that could be on an orc base. All right, in we go. Uh, Harpy went this way. I also have to blow up some tombs while I'm here. It's part of my... Oh, that... Yeah, that's probably after. Okay, I'll go right in. So... Oh, okay. Nope, that isn't it. Is it just a round? Probably. Let me get this one real quick because it is part of the challenge. Sorry to be doing this on your time. Unless it is also locked. Oh. Oh, this is it. Alright, well, that works. Oh, yeah, this is going to be stuff. Oh, baby. Seems not good for me to do. Holy. <laughs> it's so bright. It's so bright. Mm, yes. mm, what could that be? Bombs? rope dope okay. rope dope it is. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Chop. <clears throat> I wonder if those count for the challenges. I'm guessing not on socials. I like this little room in here, though. And up we go. Okay, so that's after because that's not painted. So that's for sure on the way out. I am inclined to drop the Phoenix, I think. What the? What just, tr what just triggered there? Yeah, I don't trust anymore. I think, I think you've got some plans here that I'm going to need to uh, have backups for. All right. It's up there. Okay. Is there anything else stopping me? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll probably nade in there. I think that's probably wise. Um. Alright. What's above? Oh, bomber coming. Is he going to bounce that? Not quite. Okay. That's good. I don't want to go over there if I can avoid it. Am I out of line of sight for him? Just gotta stay low. Or I gotta interact with him, right? Yeah, he's on the way. Okay. Uh, if you had put a spike in here, I'd be dead, by the way. Just FYI, maybe like one there. Um, granted, uh, let's see here. So I gotta do a chop with long sword on his legs and then, or wait, does he have armor? He does, so maybe like. Very nice. Great angle usage. Slurp up some innards for strength. Do you have that covered? No, I don't think so from those angles, right? It'd be too weird, I think. I'm gonna dip and then jump back up, maybe? No, that's, oh, what would that be for? Bombs? Is that a sink? Yeah, it rotates further down, it looks like. Okay. <sighs> Landed. Ooh, okay. Know all about these. What do you got, double? Ooh, those look awesome. 
I love those in the hardened cubes. Uh, that's okay. So you force. Okay, you got stuff. Is that just? Shoot! God damn it, Harvey. They're cool. What the fuck, dude? Well done. Double? Yeah. Good call. Good call on the double fire for sure. Chop that now. Ah, okay. Love the color schemes too. I wonder what blew this up. Was this a bad, uh, bad setup that went like sour? I'm trying to figure it out, and we kind of can. There was a dead man drop here. Oh, you know what? Something ran into a piston here with the dead man switch, didn't it? So this killed it. Maybe it rolled. It blew up here. So this hit it, and then it blew up this, this, and this, and it splattered. Did it blow that up too? No, I slashed that. Is that a slash? Yeah. I wonder what happened with that. If that, oh, you're... I'll check that out. If I can get to the uh, tomb and it's not crate, sticky flames would be very annoying there. Not that I'm encouraging, but you know, it, it would be. You want to annoy people, so they start. What do I? Will it hit this, or will I get stuck here and burn? That's my question. I'm gonna go for it. Okay, looks like we're okay. I, my thought is I was going to get stuck here and then I missed my swipe and... Um, yeah, you're a dead man for sure. Plop. Oh, nice. And... Hmm. Whoa. Just blew something up for me. Thank you. He's so Look how quiet he is. It's like a sound bug. I can barely hear him. Um. I, I hate to do this, but. I don't want to risk the flame part. Oh, there's more? Oh. I did not. I didn't throw that correctly. Um, shit, is there a trap behind him too? No, I don't think so. Oh, but there's spikes there. Oh, this is a good setup, dude. Very good. Um, Oh shit, you got bombs here? Ooh. Oh my god. You gotta tell me how ridiculous that was on the replay. That was dumb. Woo! Alright, I gotta save this Phoenix so I can get down in that little pit. It's all for that pit. See if um, Poche d'Orsay is a man of honor. Or if he's a devious goblin. Like myself. Or a little column A, a little column B. Uh, yes, so. That hit, right? Okay. Like. Right. Goblin. It's a goddamn goblin. <laughs> we knew it, dude. It's great. Does it go? Oh, darn. I, I should have jumped and then... Looks like... I can't really tell. I I think it is safe down <laughs> the face. All right, we're good. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's not die. Part of me wonders if I should have escaped first. Honestly. This has some potential to be... 
pretty gnarly. Can't be double fired though, can it? No. But I didn't take the side last time, so that has me kind of weirded out. Oh, right, and you gotta remember that uh, that thing that was not painted is gonna be giving you trouble. 100. Not this. It's gonna be... Where is that thing, man? <laughs> Just thinking of that goblin pit. I fucking knew. <laughs> uh, what do we think these are. Are they nothing? Is that really nothing? Wow, I really thought these were... That's interesting. What? Uh... This is for more treats? Is it going to be bombs up here? Oh, I feel like you're tricking me. Let's see. Oh, yeah, you were tricking me. <laughs> you you goblin, you. Let me do... Is that a two-fire? No. So then you do one of... The, oh, okay. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, my God. There's something there. I did not see that. That would have sucked. And we out. Can't out goblin a goblin, my friend. Really good uh, angles, really good setup. This is an ingenious, brutal base, I would say, first. Pretty fun. I like kind of the decorations involved with it, but it's definitely a smart, clever type of uh, gambit you're running. And uh, I think, yeah, that, that ramp with the uh, grunt, the spikes on the floor, two spikes on the floor, uh, incinerator, downward diagonally with a bomber on the side was an extremely good setup. It's really budget intensive, but well, and I guess I had this, it's hard. You know, when you're thinking of stuff, so many setups are amazing when they're bringing in melee and are just like, eh, you know, you, I probably wouldn't have commented on it if I had the, the bombs, you know, I would have shot the bombs up there, blown it up, shot that guy on the left, let those guys fall down. It would have been bypassed, but you really created a problem for melee users there where it's like, oh shit, like I'm gonna have to use a grenade here. Um, really like the crafty cleverness. It's definitely a goblin base. This will be named the Goblin Pit, um, as it was probably the crown jewel of this entire encounter. I saved a Phoenix kit to explore the Goblin Pit. Uh, there was a part where I was like, ah, this might just be hard to get into. And as soon as the bombs, I was like, fucking goblin. So really, really cool, man. Uh, so I call him Poche Dursay, but Posh Dursay is really good at uh, being clever and building things that are... In my own opinion, when I come in, you know, uh, he was just like, hey, check this out. He's, he kind of downplays. He's humble. Uh, he he exceeds what you'd expect uh, of someone uh, making those posters like, hey, check it out. Like, he's he's a clever dude. Um, and his setups are excellent. Uh, that ramp up was very difficult to deal with. He's got a really good, you know, that V pattern that's really hard to navigate. Um, there's one little indent, which I talked about, spike there. Just do it. It's, you know, if you got the budget. Oh, you know what? You might have to take some away then. Maybe that's not worth it. Uh, that was the one where I was like, oh, I'm toast. If he has a spike on his back, I just don't have time. Um, and then there was maybe one other. I personally, and this is just whatever you want to do with it, but it, it, in the moment, I was like, it would suck if in that V uh, hallway with the lava blocks above, if there was one uh, rope. And you're obviously, you got ropes because you got a rope outside. I would almost... Well, it's fun to see people get wrecked as soon as they leave with that, like, air of confidence, like, uh, the, it's over. There is something special about the last trap. There is. I, I'm with you. But, like, a rope in those is really hard when there's pressure from permatraps down the lane. Um, and it's hard to vet those, especially when you were doing it right. Because I was like, is that an open square or is it just a non-opaque lava? And it was a non-opaque lava cube, but I was like, shit, thank God. Because um, those ropes in that corridor will wreck people, I'm telling you. Um, really, really good job, though. Yeah, Ingenious Brutal, uh, fun artistic. If you guys want to check this out, too, it's uh, Provo by Poche Dersay. And uh, he's also got one called uh, King George. Uh, let me just make sure that the... Oh, that's the actual map name is King George. That's fucking awesome. Um, but he's not done precision that yet. But if you want to check these out, kind of see some of these angles, head on in. Really great job, dude.